going to show you a little bit of what we get up to in a day but mostly what we're going to eat in a day and this is an intermittent fasting plant-based vegan what we eat in a day we did actually have two coconuts around 16 hours into fast so we didn't show you that because we're rushing where are we now we're in Koh Samui not Koh Phangan Thailand I've got to extend my visa she's getting a flight tomorrow and yeah we're in a bit of a rush so yeah we've got a scooter it's down there so yeah we're gonna get a move on bring you along for this little journey we're gonna go to a health food store afterwards but yeah we're only gonna show you the fun bits because not everything is gonna be that exciting show so catch you in a bit peace Visa extension done and if you're wondering what is that exactly well any visa you get to stay in Thailand pretty much all of them you can extend for additional 30 days at specific immigration for a fee I can't remember how much it is maybe around $60 so yeah we quickly stopped on the way to the health food store to show you this really cool tree and you're probably thinking well this looks like any other tree why are you showing us a tree so if you look here you see these hanging off that is a cashew nut and cashews are actually a cashew fruit well that part is the nut and inside they'd break the shell off of there and then inside there's a nut part and it's actually really toxic for you if you touch it it'll burn your hand so that's put it for a process so it doesn't but they actually have the fruit and they come in yellow colors red colors they're really sweet and juicy but quite extringent but yeah they're really really beautiful looking as well so i thought i'd give you some insights into where the cashew comes from it's actually the seed and i actually picked one off and look at this look it's so juicy look can you see that all squirting out look oh, it, <laughs> it smells so good how is it mm. this isn't one of the best ones this one's not that flavorful but yeah oh. this is what it looks like inside it's quite a rubbery texture yeah it's yeah. not a fruit sold that commonly so we don't like it but yeah hope you enjoyed that as much as i did <laughs> It's like chewing on chewing gum. actually have a wonderful outdoor seating area there's lovely knock hello what are you looking at you no in the menu <laughs> oh you i look at the what camera what are you gonna get you know yeah i don't know but the frappe menu looks so good and i don't usually drink coffee but it sounds amazing and they've got this lovely little area I'm not so keen on the fish today because it isn't nice to take them out of the environment yeah. and Smoothie i'm gonna get well. one of these they look really 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 good so i'm looking forward to getting one of these what lovely delight have you got there i got a caramel frappe Ooh. Ooh, it looks so good it's tap caramel and what else do you have here and this is the baked rice with kimchi a soft tofu and some vegetables it looks so good what you got i have got baked rice and quinoa dish it's got spring onion in there definitely some herbs Tomatoes, mother goodness. I might say it as well, but yeah, let's dig into this. What's this we got here? Um, that is a cookie dough. I believe that's what they say. It's almond flavor. I think you have to cut and see what it looks like inside. We'll check that one out in a minute. And yeah, this is our last day pretty much together. No. Which I feel a bit upset about it. So does she. Mm. Um, she gonna leave tomorrow? Go to Thai. Yeah. We just enjoy today together. Yeah, we're trying yeah. to make the most of it as we possibly can. I'm going to dig into this in two. Hm. Looks like the rice has kind of yellow color. Can you see? It looks like it's stir fried egg in it. Really good whole food dish. Oh, yeah. Very nourishing, very flavorful. It's got a lot of herbs in there. Nice strong taste of the green peas. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try mine. So I got the baked kimchi tofu rice. It has the soft white tofu and kimchi which they homemade themselves and some green beans and that 
Ich hab. Ja, ich hab. 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 Looks so mm. good. It it's got a mixture so of berries in goji berries, bananas, spirulina, so we can see on top. It looks pretty. Right, you have other different goodness as well. I'm gonna try that short while, but I better eat this quickly because this will start melting. If you don't want kimchi, it's Korean pickle, but you should use white cabbage, some carrot. They ferment it with Korean chili, a lot of garlic and onion. Not usually vegan because they use fish sauce. Yeah, it's best to make homemade vegan version. The most of the store bought one is not vegan. So I do really like this, but I'm not actually going to eat that much at all. I'm not used to eating hot food. I actually don't like hot food. I will admit that. You better have it in the fridge. <laughs> so yeah, I ate some. Take the rest away. I well, I'll eat all these. of it for you. But yeah, it's not bad at all. It's just not exactly what my body wants right now. Oh wow. Huh? No way! It tastes so wow. good. It tastes like they add some. It tastes like there's like some rose scent in there. It's profound. I don't know how they made this. It tastes like it has some like mm. gummy bear or or, or bubble gum taste yeah. in it. Yeah, literally. Right? We moved, you may be wondering why. I noticed that we're right next to a Wi Fi route. If you don't know about how bad it is to be near a Wi Fi route, uh, then definitely do research into it, expecting a lot of people's help in a negative way. And I can mm. feel it through my body as well. I'm very conscious of when I'm around things like that. I was feeling weird in my body, and I was like, wait a minute, there's a Wi Fi route. I'm yeah, and it makes you tired. Anyway, well, on to a more mm. positive note, I'm trying to cook it in. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm gonna get one later. That's almond on mm. the inside. Oh wow! It's so chewy. You know what it looks like to me? A bounty bar, yeah. but with kind of like chewy almonds inside. Mm. What do you say in Thai if something is delicious or tasty? Aloy mark mark. <laughs> it means very delicious. So I've come back to eat this. I've just realised what it tastes of. It tastes of Chinese chow mein. What is chow mein? Never had it. I used to have it a lot. Chinese fast food dish. Okay, I want to say something. This is very weird culture in Western country. They make Chinese food to fast food industry. I don't understand. They westernize as like a, a thing, a takeout Chinese, which I never had. She's gonna finish that off, and then we're gonna get a move on and see what the rest of the day brings us. Who knows? Where are we? The beach. Okay. Yeah. Thought we'd come and get a bit of nature for a while, and then we're gonna check out a restaurant that's up the road. Very now then. I try. It's not a fully vegan restaurant, but they have a lot of vegan options. This place has some good looking desserts, so we might try out. What's this? This is the smoothie I got. Passion fruit, mango, coconut water, lime and basil. It's very good. It's very refreshing. It's not too sweet. Sour passion fruit and lime. Um, but it is not super sour. It has natural sweet add to from a coconut water. My first dish has come out, which is this bowl of sweet goodness, which is a smoothie bowl. This is called chocolate almond power. It's got almond milk in, raw protein, banana, raw cacao, coconut syrup, topped with almond butter, almonds, raw cacao, bee pollen, but I got the bee pollen and some vegan, so I didn't want that. We'll give this a try. 
very chocolatey, but it's got a nice balance of sweetness. It's not like this bitter, dark chocolate. Super creamy. Nice lot of chunky chopped up almonds and a nice banana kick as well. It's an all round well made smoothie bar. It's really flavorful without being too sweet or too bitter or too overpowering with certain specific ingredients. So yeah, thumbs up from me. Take two for the second dish. It's not, didn't put the mic on, but it's all good. We'll do it again. It is half a destroyed plate of vegan pancakes with strawberry sauce on and bananas. And I thought it was gonna come with coconut cream as well, because it says that, but apparently this is the coconut cream. But no, it's just strawberry sauce, but oh well. Some of the best pancakes that I have ever had. The strawberry sauce is exactly like a traditional English strawberry sauce. Very strong strawberry taste. The pancakes break up very easily. Very really beautiful. What's the plan now? We're going to go to check in our hotel that we booked for tonight. Okay. And then we're going to probably have dinner later. We're planning to go to this place. But well, Danny already signed. So. Yes, we're going to the Hungry Wolf. What do they got there? Vegan pizza with vegan cheese and a lot of burger. For people that are watching that just think we eat and eat and eat, yeah, we are today. But we are, we eat a lot. We usually fasting a lot and we just have one big meal, which is dinner. But today, it's not like every day. It's good, it's all good fun. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna get back over to our scooter that's over there. And we will show you the Good hotel day, later yeah. when we check in. Now the resort they're meant to be staying, Knock made some error, we Google Maps, so we ended up going completely somewhere else, but it's all good. We're here now. We just spent ages making a part of the thumbnail for this. And I hope you appreciate these vlogs because I put so much time and energy into filming and editing these. They take hours and hours and hours and hours and hours to edit and normally around an hour to two hours of filming. And yeah, we're just happy to be here. The thumbnail is mostly done. We've still got to take some other images as well. But yeah, I'm gonna jump in the pool here. Then we're gonna chill out in the room, which we haven't actually gone in yet. Then, we will go out. I don't know what's gonna happen for this day. Ah! Pretty cool, I didn't mind it. Oh, look at, who's this person? Oh! I'll ask you a question. Why are you so passionate about food and veganism that you actually went in the direction of not just switching to this diet and lifestyle yourself, mm -hmm. but also opening your own restaurant known as a Blossom Cafe in Pai, Thailand around a year ago or so now? Yes. I remember I love cooking. It's like one of my biggest passions in life. And when I get into veganism, I try to learn how to make vegan foods really tasty, not boring and not blend. Like a lot of people out there might think that it's, it's the way it is. It's just challenging me to create recipe and ideas. And I really love to share my food and to share this to the world, to other people so they get to be more open-minded about this type of food and yeah and maybe help them transform into this journey with me and i get really happy when like for example the customer that's not vegan they came across my restaurant or eat my food and they get my blowing or you know they have this reaction it's like wow this is really vegan food it's really tasty and it's so healthy as well because I want to make a vegan food that really flavorful and healthy as much as possible. So that is my goal. And also really good for your health because there's a lot of ways how to use certain ingredients or superfood or healthy ingredients to create into a dish. And what you say to people, which is a lot of people out there that try vegan food and say that it's horrible or they never tried it and think, oh, that isn't going to taste nice. Yeah. What would you say well, to them? You know, go out there and find what you like or we'll try a different idea and recipe and just trying to make it more fun because vegan does not have to be like tofu or you know beans and vegetables there's other things that just add more spice into it because yeah you can make it more fun and be open-minded we at the restaurant called the Hong Yu yeah. it's really nice a nice restaurant I like it the food? Yeah. yeah they do have a lot of vegan options here like a lot they have besides pizza and burger and pasta they have vegan burrito as well and a smoothie bowl We 
have one of the staff watching us, which is all cool. A lot of people like to do that, which is fun. Here's a burger, here's a panini, big sauce. It's just a simple tomato sauce with parmesan cheese on the top. Here's a salad and truffle mushroom. The battery's gonna die soon, so I'm gonna hurry up a little bit. Mm. I haven't had a panini since I've been vegan for over five years. Mm. Really tasty, the bread is really, really good. I really like that one. Pretty much every time we order food, she's always like, oh, we should order what you order, and then she starts <laughs> eating mine. The caramel rice onion is so good with mushroom. I don't want that. It's fine. I first noticed it's, it's a very thick burger bun, mm. and a really good diamond on it as well. And they give us the vegan mayo as well, it looks really good. Mm. Man, for people that want to try good vegan food, this would be a good vegan burger. Really herby, got a meat and taste to it. Really flavorful. Good, yeah, it's really crispy. It's deep fried. Super good. Uh, well. uh. It's such a small mouse, you can only fit a mouse. What? <laughs> Gonna try the ginger salad with the vegan parmesan cheese on top and seasoned dressing. Hmm. Good base. One of the better vegan pizzas I've had. Tasty, flavorful. I would like a lot more cheese on it though. For free cheese, I'd, I'd definitely make it a lot thicker. I would prefer that it's a bit more stringy. It hasn't got that stringiness to it. Yeah, more cheese would definitely be better. My salad is really good. The dressing, it tastes like the real Caesar dressing. Really creamy and sour taste on it. It looks like the real cream sauce. With truffle mushroom. Mm. Mm. I like it that it's not the taste is not too complicated, it's yeah. just really creamy, the mushrooms go really well with it. I personally wouldn't order it, it's far too oily for me. This is the bolognese with parmesan on. The thing I prefer about that one, it's not oily like at all in comparison to this one. Yeah, this is really good. Remind me of when you have those like simple tomato spaghetti. Uh, spaghetti. 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 They come out from a can. So yeah. Pretty good experience overall. I'm very happy with it. And a few experiences recently at certain restaurants where we felt completely ripped off. The yeah. portion size has been really small, overpriced, but it's really good. I would really recommend it here. So yeah, I give this place an out of 10, 10 being the best, one being the worst. What were you saying? Mm, 7.5. Definitely a place we'd visit again. Yeah, I will. I will come back. Try other things, and the smoothie bowl looks really good too on the menu. I just wish the pizza have the springy effect on yeah. it. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. If you're any place you've eaten, we'll put links down below for them. In case you're ever in Koh Samui, Thailand, you can check them out. Mm. I'd recommend that you do, especially this one. So yeah, mm. any comments, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up, share this with others. If you think they want to watch this video, don't forget to subscribe to receive more videos like this. On a regular basis, and videos on calisthenics, weight loss, and intermittent fasting, various other topics mm. that I'm very passionate about and knowledgeable on. Mm. So, if those sound good to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. It's very important. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when the videos are uploading. So um, hungry. That's so eating. Uh, <laughs> and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So, yeah, that's it from us. Enjoy the rest of the day. Make the most of it. Eat some good food. Mm. And yeah, just have the best day ever. Whilst we finish this up, then go home and sleep. Yeah. Peace.